For this episode of Theology Behind the Imagery, I want to look at this scene um, from the animation True Food. So in this scene, what we see is woman wisdom, who is the personification of wisdom. Uh, you see that in Proverbs 8 and 9. Uh, woman wisdom calling the wayward people to herself. Um, and what I specifically want to talk about today is why in the face of woman wisdom you see a picture of the crucified Christ represented. Um, what's going on there? So in order to dig into this, first we need to just really briefly think about what wisdom is. Much could be said, but if we wanted to be as simple as possible, I think Proverbs 9, 10 uh, tells us, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And then parallel to that, the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning, or better maybe to think of it as the essence or the heart or the center. This isn't just where we start. This is where we start, but then it remains at the center of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the heart of wisdom. So if we're going to understand wisdom, we need to understand the fear of the Lord. So let's step back to that and see what the fear of the Lord is quickly. Then we'll understand what wisdom is. Then we can, I can hopefully explain this scene. So the fear of the Lord is, again, very simply, there's so much you could say about it, is to receive God's revelation of himself, to receive that as revelation, and in light of that revelation, to know who I am. So to know who God is by his revelation of himself, and in light of his revelation of himself, to know then who I am. So God reveals himself in, in creation, in his word, and supremely so in his son, crucified and risen. And wisdom is, or the fear of the Lord, is inseparable from this revelation of the Lord to us. It's to receive that revelation of him, and then having received it to say, if that's who God is, then, then, and, then this is who I am in light of who he is. And, and to that recognition is the fear of the Lord. And of course, so much is bound up in that awe and reverence and repentance and adoration and obedience and love. All these things flow out of that. But, at the, but I think a way to simplify it is know who God is by how he has revealed himself. Know who I am in light of that revelation. And if that's the fear of the Lord, then wisdom is... It's to say, if, if this is who God has shown himself to be, and if this is who I know myself to be in light of that, how then do I deal with finances? How then do I deal with difficult or challenging people? How then do I deal with moral quandaries or with fears or anxieties or sicknesses or, or responsibilities? Wisdom takes God's revelation of himself and my understanding of who I am in light of that revelation and presses it into all the corners of life. So if that's what wisdom is, why would I put the crucified Christ in the face of wisdom? Uh, two reasons. First, Paul tells us that Christ is um, the wisdom of God, the crucified Christ especially, is the wisdom of God on display. He tells us that in 1 Corinthians 1, um, verses 24, well, really starting in verse 18, but uh, verse 24 and 25, he says that this crucified Christ is to us, it's the, he is the power and the wisdom of God. So why is the crucified Jesus the wisdom of God? Well, remember that wisdom is to, to know who God is, to know who we are in light of who God is, and to act accordingly. Um, Jesus, however, though, is fully God and fully man. And so in Christ, what we see is God knowing himself in light of who he is and acting accordingly. In other words, we see God acting the way God acts. We see God being himself in Christ. And for God to be himself as a man is to see perfect wisdom incarnate, perfect wisdom living among us. And the awesome thing that Paul says is that when God 
acts as himself when God embodies perfect divine wisdom in the midst of the fallen world, it looks like pouring himself out to death in obedience to the Father uh, for the sake of his enemies. That's what divine wisdom, that's what God being himself looks like in the world. So the crucified Christ is the wisdom of God because the crucified Christ shows us God being himself in the midst of the fallen world and winning that fallen world to himself by doing what no one would expect to do, which is lowering himself in obedience to the Father, in love to his enemies, to bear their sins, to die in their place, to rise again in victory and to say, now I've overcome. Now I've overcome all opposition to your enjoyment of me. Come to me and live. So Christ is the wisdom of God, the crucified Christ is the wisdom of God on display because the crucified Christ is God being himself in the midst of this fallen creation. We see him there. We see him savingly. We know him savingly there, as Paul says in 1 Corinthians 1, 21. But secondly, um, not only is the crucified Christ the wisdom of God, but for us to be wise, for us to actually be wise, is to come to and trust in and receive the crucified Christ. So why do I say that? Well, again, remember what we're saying wisdom is, is to know who God is and know ourselves in light of that and respond accordingly. Now, post-crucifixion and resurrection, to know who God is must mean to know who he is in Christ at the cross. Therefore, Wisdom, post-cross, wisdom says to us, yes, no God in creation, yes, no God in his word, and ultimately, definitively, no God in Christ at the cross. So wisdom says, behold, behold your God pouring himself out over your rebellious head and heart in unbounded love, embracing the infinite desolation of your enmity against him in your place. And in light of that, behold yourself, sinful beyond all imagining, because this is what your sins deserve, this is what your sins have done, and behold yourself loved beyond all hope, because this, it's not you on the cross, it's not you up there, that's your God up there on the cross, bearing it in your place. And so, Fear of the Lord at the cross looks like seeing God in Christ and seeing ourself in light of that. And then wisdom at the cross responds to that revelation and says, I receive him. I, I take him. I, I feed on this. I recognize him as Lord and God and only Savior and only hope for my existence. So wisdom comes to the crucified Christ and receives him as the true food and true drink that satisfies, who alone satisfies our soul. And so I created this animation and this scene in particular uh, to try to call people to that um, so that they would, so that we all would leave paths of false foods, false satisfactions, and come to the only food and drink who can satisfy.